This may not look like a Mustang as we know it, but it is just that. Welcome to the Ford Mustang Mach-E, an all-electric SUV that ushers in a new era for the Blue Oval. It's based on an all-new platform and is offered with either a 75 or 99 kilowatt hour battery, with four-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive offered with both of those battery sizes. Go for the rear-wheel drive version and you can see WLTP range of up to 370 miles. Settle for one of the four-wheel drive models with the smaller battery and you will see the lowest range of 260 miles. There will be a more performance-oriented version called the GT. The GT will be four-wheel drive as standard and will develop 459 brake horsepower that should see it hit 60 miles an hour in somewhere around three and a half seconds. It will also come complete with standard adaptive dampers, performance brakes and distinctive contrasting fascia and aerodynamic upgrades. There is loads of room in the Mackie, more than you might actually imagine, so you will get four tall adults in it very easily. Not only that, but the interior finish and the infotainment system in the Mustang Mach-E is as much of a new era for the brand as the powertrain. That 15.5 inch touchscreen is standard on every Mach-E and is absolutely focal to how you use the car. Almost all of the car's functions are accessed through that, leaving the single LED strip behind the steering wheel clear to focus just on the speed and essential information for the driver. It will also feature Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and is also expected to have 4G connectivity, although it's yet to be decided whether the 4G will come with a subscription. Being an SUV, the Mach-E is a practical car with a boot that offers 402 litres of space, rising to 1,420 litres of space with the rear seats folded down. There's also a 100 litre front trunk under the bonnet, which has a removable, waterproof and washable lining. Drivers will even be able to use their smartphone to unlock and start the Mach-E, and there's a touch sensitive keypad that allows you to access and start the car with a code. There aren't even any conventional door handles, just touch sensitive pads. This really is Ford reaching for the future. We've even had a passenger ride in a Mustang Mach-E and we can confirm that even one of the more basic models feels seriously fast, even in the mid-range, and it rides well too. It all promises great things for this car when it finally goes on sale in the UK at the end of 2020. Pricing will start from around about £40,000 for the base model, stretching to some £47,000 for a higher spec 4x4. Go for one of the high spec first edition models and you'll be paying some £58,000, which doesn't sound cheap, but compare the Mustang Mach-E to rivals like the Jaguar I-Pace and it does actually look like good value. However you look at it, and however you feel about the Mach-E being branded a Mustang, this is a significant car for Ford and for the electric car market as a whole and we cannot wait to try it in the UK. While you're here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out drivingelectric.com for all of the advice, features, reviews and news you could possibly want on every electric and hybrid car on sale.